today's lesson or by the end of this lesson students will be able to know about types of test data verification and validation test data the test data is used to check the correctness of an algorithm the solution of a problem is tested to confirm if it is right or not different types of values are given to the algorithm as input the output is checked to confirm that the algorithm works correctly suppose that an algorithm is written to check the largest value from three values a b c the values of the test data can be positive negative or zero a is equal to 5 b is equal to 10 c is equal to 15 a the value of a b and c are positive values then a is equal to 3 b is equal to minus 9 c is equal to 27 the value of a is positive and the value of b is negative the value of c is also positive dear students now i will explain importance of testing testing is very important to ensure the correctness of the solution it can be used to detect and remove any errors in the solution it helps the user to modify and improve the solution the testing becomes even more critical if the solution is used commercially dear students now i will explain importance of testing with the help of example the car manufacturers test the car very carefully before selling it to customer it is driven by a robot driver that hits the car against the wall it is done to ensure that the air bags work properly it helps the manufacturers to improve the security measures in the car and reduce the damage in case of an accident it helps to improve the quality of the car students now we will discuss types of test data it is important to create proper and efficient test data to improve the quality of the solution each type of the solution may require different types of test data different types of test data are as follows number 1 valid test data a type of test data that is according to the input requirements of an algorithm is called valid test data for example suppose an algorithm requires a positive number between 1 and 50 to calculate the square of the number any number from 1 to 50 will be considered as valid test data
invalid test data a type of test data that is not according to the input requirements of an algorithm is called invalid test data it is important that the algorithm handles invalid data properly and shows relevant messages for example suppose an algorithm requires a positive number between 1 and 50 to calculate the square of the number any number out of this range will be considered as invalid test data such as 60 and 7 76 the algorithm should notify the user that the input is wrong boundary test data the smallest or the largest data values from the range of valid test data is called boundary test data an algorithm is tested with the boundary test data to ensure that it handles these values correctly example suppose an algorithm requires a positive number between 1 and 50 to calculate the square of the number the values from 1 to 50 will be considered as boundary test data students now i will explain wrong data format the wrong data format means the value that are different than the valid test data for example suppose an algorithm requires a positive number between 1 and 50 to calculate the square root of the number the wrong data format for this algorithm can be the values such as capital a comma hello and minus 5.9 etc it is always good to check how the solution works with the wrong data formats number 5 absent data the absent data means that the number of values given to the solution is less than expected for example suppose an algorithm requires three numbers to find the largest one the algorithm should give relevant message to the user if the number of inputs is less than 3 it is important to check how the solution works with the absent data students now i will explain the concept of verification verification is the process to test if the solution is solving the same problem for which it was designed suppose an algorithm is prepared to find the percentage of a student and assign the grade the user can observe if if the algorithm inputs marks and display grade this process is called verification dear students now i will explain validation validation is the process to test 
if the solution is correct or not. Suppose an algorithm is prepared to find percentage of a student and assign grade. The user can check the output of the algorithm to confirm that the grade is assigned correctly. This process is called verification. It is normally performed using test data. Suppose the user orders spicy chicken pizza with extra cheese. The verification and validation can be performed as follows. First of all verification. The user will visually check if it is a chicken pizza. When it arrives, he will see if it has extra cheese on it. This process is called verification. Now the validation. The user will eat the pizza to check if it is spicy or not. This process is called validation. Now I will explain verification and validation with one more example. Suppose an algorithm is written to input three numbers and display the largest number. The verification and validation can be performed as follows. First of all verification. The verification can be performed by checking if it inputs three numbers and displays one number. The algorithm is verified if it inputs the number and displays the number. Now the validation. The validation can be performed by checking if the displayed number is actually the largest of three numbers. The algorithm is validated if the displayed number is the largest one. Okay,